How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Crazy Oz, and today I am playing some War Thunder, and I think that I'm gonna start making this like a normal type of video for the channel, go towards one of those more War Thunder type situation channels, because I've been really getting into this game, and I've been playing it a lot, so I thought like, you know what, why not make videos at the same time, since I haven't made videos in a while, but um, yeah, so why, why I haven't made videos for a while is simply because Previously, that's, that's also the reason why I don't have a face cam right now, because previously making videos took up a lot of editing, took up a lot of time making them the way that I made them before. And with that time I spend editing the videos and stuff, I don't really get to edit, or I don't really get to play games. And I really enjoy playing games, no different than anyone else. And I, I think editing's cool too. However, some games that are like this and more oriented towards that type of work, I can't play games at the same time as making or exporting a video because CPU usage and all, all that. So I kind of sort of stopped that and started playing games on my own since it ended up getting complex. But that's not to say that I don't enjoy making videos, it's just that I feel like I didn't get enough game time playing and I enjoy playing games. I only get so much time to play them every day because I have schoolwork and everything to tend to. So that that's kind of sort of why I want to do this. Like, all the all the videos that you saw before, um, that's, like, the only game time that I played. Like, that whole day for, like, that for, like for a forest episode, unless I did, like, I think for one of the, my forest episodes or Sniper Elite or something like that, I recorded it in sequences. Like, I recorded it at the same day. I just kept recording and recording and recording, and then I just edited it all and uploaded it throughout the week. But since I've been playing this a lot and... I get into this game a good amount, and it's a free to play, so you guys can always join in and stuff. I decided that it would be cool to do a video on this. So, I want to talk about a good way to like fly your plane, how, how to use your plane. Like, just starting off, it's gonna be a simple tutorial. I'm not, I do wanna do more advanced tutorials on everything about air wings. However, right now I'm just going to do simple tutorials on how to do it, or I'm going to do a simple tutorial for this, and I'll use something, I don't know, I'll use, I'll use the P-47, I guess. Uh, so, something to know is, it's really good to get into air realistic battles. I'm not going to talk too much about air realistic battles. I'm going to save that for a different episode. I'm going to end up probably making a whole playlist full of episodes and tutorials on how uh, flying works because I really enjoy flying in this game. I think that they have good flying um, models and everything like that and that's quite laggy doing that. But the flight models, everything, it's really enjoyable. I'm kind of sort of learning the ins and outs of tanks still. I only have so many tanks. I am working on tanks though, and I'm starting to get slightly better at it. I do know how to use tanks effectively, and I'm decent at it, but I'm not like, I wouldn't call myself a grandmaster or anything crazy like I would with tanks or anything, or airplanes or anything like that. So I'll do a normal bot rank, do arcade to show you, keep everything else basically default, and then I'll show you inside the game. Uh, submarines. I played submarines. I wanted to make a video on it, but I ended up not being able to have the time to set up and everything, people coming over and stuff, since it's right there at Easter. I wanted to make a video on submarines because I thought that would be a cool addition, especially um, something cool to come back with since I haven't made a video in so long on, on this channel. But uh, um, I never got to. However, I think it would be a really cool idea if they added that and did like the the cruise missiles and all that that's on the things on those submarines so you can surface and you do like the world wars mode or whatever they were deciding to do where it's like all of them like all the things together you get what i mean and get be able to launch rockets like at tanks basically i think that would be awesome and ignore the stuttering and everything i, I haven't made a video in a long time Calm down. It's a lot to handle. I'm not as fluent as I used to be. It's been quite a long time and I haven't really been on 
the same schedule. And trust me, if you make videos, you understand how good your speech gets throughout a, a video. That way there's not a lot of white space or blank space, especially now since I'm not really going to do too many edits, as many edits because of time reasons. Um, don't expect every single War Thunder video to be kind of sort of more serious space like I'm doing here. I do want to do fun ones. Fun videos with other people. Alright, so, you just spawned inside your plane. I know that this is the plane that you start off with, but same thing applies to all fighters or whatever you're flying. Bombers are different, but I'll, I'll have a video on bombers. So, if you're playing arcade, it's usually, I think it's normally smart to go off to the side. This isn't really fair because I'm going to get spots right now, but because if you ever played air realistic battles before, you should understand that when everybody spawns in, that they basically come in this giant ball of fury directly towards you. And because of that, it, uh, sorry, I'm kind of super focused. I don't know why. I'm not really showing them, just whatever. So, because of that, it's nice to go off to the side, let the people in the front that want to do that get hit, get destroyed, weaken the force, and split them up. And then you come in and dive in. Dive in because you want the higher ground. The same applies with uh, air battling as it does in like real life. You want high ground, gives you an advantage. So, it's generally smart to, uh, as soon as you spawn and climb with that initial airspeed, because depending on your aircraft that you have selected, sometimes they give you a higher starting speed than what is your max speed going 100%. And if they do that, then you want to be able to use that and convert that to uh, that speed into altitude. It's a very smart thing to do because with that altitude, you can convert to speed, and then you can reconvert back into altitude, so on and so forth. V very more advanced things that will come second hand to you eventually. And this aiming will also come second hand, especially if you play RB a lot. So basically, I'm sure that you understand that the aiming circle is where you're supposed to aim. However, that's not entirely true. That's only true if they are going in a completely straight line. Once they uh, start moving side to side, up or down, like um, basically just different directions, like they try juking you out, you want to aim accordingly to the, the uh, circle. The circle shows from the center point out of that aircraft and if they were going in a straight line where you should hit. So, if they end up, if they're moving up, then you want to aim kind of sort of behind the circle because you want to aim where they're going to be when the bullets connect. So where the circle is basically going to be after they hit that turn. Also with bombers and stuff, since I'm kind of sort of in this dealio, you want to be careful uh, which way you come on, what angle you go on, and what turns you make. The bottom side of your airplane, I'm not saying that, that you should do this, this is just an example, but the bottom side of your airplane is much stronger than the top side because you don't have a piece of glass and then you pilot, you just have, uh, you have a whole bunch of metal that they have to get through before they can actually get you guy and because of that it makes it a lot better for survivability of your pilot so smart thing to do that as well you do have uh, armor on your windshield right there however however that's only going to save you in a pinch so back to aiming with bigger things like I said for the aiming circle um, is from the center of the aircraft, the very middle, it predicts that. So when you're shooting at that circle, your bullet, if they presume that the person's going in a straight line and you sure to shoot at the circle, then your bullets are gonna hit the center of the aircraft. So if you wanna say hit the wing, you're gonna wanna aim slightly left of it, not, not that exaggerated, you wanna aim, basically get the little the, the aiming radical circle, right? there the dot in the middle you want that to basically be at the border of the circle if they were going in a straight line if they were turning then you want to 
um, aim it out even further than that because you want to predict not only the turn but where your bullets are going to hit for the turn. Um, also, a good tip, like I said, uh, realistic battles is where it's at, and why is simply because you get a lot more RP, RB, RP, it's one of those, B or P, one of those things. You get much more research points, basically, and lines for kills. Now, you might not always get a kill, but you still all around get more stuff than playing arcade. And you might see say like, oh, but one aircraft, that doesn't seem like very much fun. And I guess if you're used to air arcade, it's not nearly as much fun, but you get used to having that realistic feel. Like, this is just as it says arcade, however, realistic is kind of sort of like an extreme saying of what that really is. That should be like the normal. Realistic is like normal combat for both tanks and airplanes, but arcade's just like a fun way to basically have fun. Very simplistic, very easy, good way to learn the ropes, and good thing to learn how to aim because you start getting used to where you're supposed to aim at that circle. Like You start understanding where that circle is, and RB, basically just picture the circle. Um, so now what I want to go ahead and attack the A point. Uh, so yeah, you get used to that circle and everything. And then when you go into RB, you're much more fluent at knowing where the circle is because you basically put the circle on there for yourself without there having to be a circle. And usually starting off low, you're work your way up. Everybody else is just starting off, so it's pretty easy. But say you buy like a premium plane like this and you start playing air realistic because you don't want to go arcade if you have this and you don't have anything else because then you're just gonna have this aircraft, you're gonna have a higher probability of getting shot down, and then not only that, but you're also gonna, you're also gonna um, not have good planes after this does get shot down. You're just gonna have, a, like the same thing basically applies for tanks too. If you buy like a really high-end premium tank, like I have, the Magog here, if you end up getting that tank, but you don't have any other good tanks, then even RB to a, um, isn't really all that fair, simply because um, you're going to die inside that tank, and then after you're done dying inside that tank, you're not going to have anything basically good to back up, or back yourself up. Um, however, we're not talking about tanks, we're talking about airplanes, and I quite enjoy that there's one airplane because for grinding, it's very convenient. You get more RP with that one airplane than you get with your whole crew. Like, I get more RP than this crew maxed out, like my slots maxed out in Air Arcade. So that just goes to show um, the effectiveness of uh, realistic battles. And I, I highly recommend that. After you learn arcade and you get really good at arcade, or well, not really good, just get good in general at arcade, you learn how to shoot, you get good basically at the game. You don't have to be great, you just have to be good. And then go into RB as soon as you feel comfortable, the sooner that you get into it, the sooner that you're going to get better at it and everything. Also don't be afraid to go into a match like this and practice with bots, Get um, and learn how to shoot with RB and with your plane and stuff, learn your plane. A uh, plane's going to perform differently in realistic battles than it is in arcade, far differently. Like, you can hold the wet forever, however, then you're going to have to start watching your oil and engine heat. You're going to want to be careful of that. And so on. So, I mean, I didn't really plan out um, what I wanted to say inside this video. Which I probably should have, and now I can't hit escape for some reason. That's... don't know why that's doing that. Why can't I hit escape? Whatever. But, so, yeah, I, w I wasn't really planning on what I wanted to do. I can't hit escape, and this is, there we go. All right, so, I wasn't really planning on what to do, which would have been a smart thing to do for the type of video that it is. However, I just, let's just roll with it so far. So, hopefully, I got what I wanted to say out of this. Like I said, it's basic, and I didn't plan for it, so excuse me, pardon me for all that. Uh... Things that you're going to want to do as soon as you get the game also would be 
turn off the join already going battles. You want to turn that off because otherwise you're going to join already going battles basically, which isn't really as fun as you might want. <laughs> Uh, you can look at the crosshair and crosshair color. I have mine set to ultra green because that stands out most to the human eye. And then it's, this is just whatever prefers to you. This is really what prefers to you too. However, I like something that I can see no matter what's inside the background. Uh, something else that you want is fuel indicator, ammo indicator, and temperature indicator always set to always. Uh, simply because you want those on, especially if you're playing RB. And then... That's all up to you for those. Um, so in controls, you want to, it's smart, especially if you're playing as a different country other than America, or if you're playing it with a P-39 as America or something. Uh, it's smart to have your small caliber, caliber guns set to another button. I have mine set to right mouse button, and then I can shoot them all with left mouse button. But it's a smart thing to do that because with, say, the P-63 or the P-39, it has a cannon, which is a 37 millimeter. It's great for, like, sniping. However, you don't want to shoot that every single time. You might not want to shoot that every single time that you can because sometimes the bullets, uh, 50 cals and stuff, go f farther than the 37 and everything. Plus, you might be able to get better shots off the high-velocity 50 cals that you can't get out of the 37 millimeter. So it's quite smart to do that because it'll help conserve ammo and be basically just all around smarter. Uh, this ended, ends up becoming second hand to you eventually. It's second hand to me when I go into other people's computers and stuff and play on their account. They have uh, stock settings with the right mouse button and that's like their zoom in or whatever, tracking, whatever it's called, I don't know. It's just something completely different and it kind of triggers me when I play other people's stuff. Uh, also smart to go to control setup wizard for air and do keyboard advance basically what that does is it makes it that way w and s does not control your acceleration anymore it controls your rudder or not your rudder your um elevator so s would make you elevator make you go up and w the opposite go down and then to Accelerate would be shift and control or scroll reel and all of that's Very convenient to me. Also. Sorry if you hear my dog. I'm downstairs right now. I'm at a different location than I normally am I'm not inside my bedroom. So you you'll be able to hear her walking around but anyways, that's uh All right, that's basically the the gist of what I'm gonna say for the remainder so i haven't uploaded for so long however i'm gonna start making this normal thing hopefully because why not I don't, I don't see why not it'll be fun i enjoy the game uh go check it out it's free links inside the description to the website where you can download this or you could go on steam get it through there and you could log in through steam that's actually kind of sort of the easier way just search it on steam find it on steam because then you could use your steam account with it anyways uh Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you disliked it. Comment below if you have any questions. If you wanna wanna see anything at all, <laughs> say uh, recommendations for my tanks or airplanes. What you want me to fly? I don't. I don't really have a lot. So just say something. I'll see what I can do. Uh, so I'll see you guys inside the next video. Thank you guys for watching.